Vámonos. Tunnel Kangert, uh, you have been living here in Girona for eight years now. Uh, explain us, why all the cyclists live here and what's so special about this town? Well, I never really lived here. I was always coming and going. I never stayed more than two weeks in Girona. But since uh, last summer, the whole family we decided to move here for one whole school year. It's been a good good move so far. <clears throat> we really like to be here with family because uh, finally we are all together. We don't have to travel back and forward. But about the others, I cannot I cannot talk about the others. Why, why they keep coming here? But for me, it's just the ideal climate, wide roads, uh, traveling. To here and from here is quite easy. Uh, I don't mind so many cyclists living here, but uh, I have to say now, after eight years, eight years, I see the cyclists cycling scene has really boomed over the last few years. So it's not as quiet as it used to be, but but it's still okay. The the life quality here is uh, just uh, amazing. And you, you plan on living here for the next eight years? No, <clears throat> no, no, no. I think uh, it depends how long is my career gonna gonna last, how many more years I want to do. But I think if I do one or two years more here, it's more than enough. I even consider moving for a year or two. But I still haven't decided where, where I would like to go because, yeah, let's say the world is still open and uh, I would like to discover some other places as well. Okay. Uh, what do you like the most in, in this region? The, the roads or, or the, the atmosphere? Let's say it's... I would put, put it together in one phrase, it's the quality of life everything together, all things combined, let's say, even starting from people around here, how they how they value kids, they really love kids, so our daughter going to school here is an amazing experience for, for all of us. I would say the food, the, the prices are still uh, reasonable, I would say it's one of the most expensive towns or cities to live in Spain but they're still uh, living costs are still way lower than uh, somewhere in south of France let's say for example plus the, the quietness of the roads and the drivers are uh, really well behaving and they used to have lots of cyclists around you can get by with English nowadays almost everywhere but uh, yeah I think uh, Spanish is really handy, so learning a few words, a few phrases is always a good thing. It shows your respect to them also, you're still a visitor here, so you must adapt as much as possible. Okay. Uh, how often do you go out training with the other pros or do you still prefer to go alone? I would say... 90% of the rides I do alone or with maybe one mate. I almost never do group rides. If it's two, it has to be a good group. I don't like to ride with uh, recreational riders, Sunday riders. It's, it's not my thing. I do my work, I do my training, I do my exercises. I don't want to be rude, but waiting after someone when I do my work and they're just having a fun day out is not my thing. Uh, how's your winter con this year? Do you think it's a bit better than last year's because you've stayed here for the whole time? 
Yeah, that was also one of the main ideas moving here for one year to improve my winter training quality, let's say. I'm not uh, limited by the weather. I don't have to do three hour rides because I've just frozen. I, I, I cannot ride anymore like it used to be in Estonia. Plus I do a lot less uh, other sports. I almost uh, don't do any skiing at all. I don't do any, I just cannot. So I try to only focus on cycling. Of course I do some gym, some core exercises. But that's about it because I'm I'm already I'm almost 33 years old. It's not that I'm lacking uh, endurance or I have to be physically super talented to do all the sports in the same time. I think now in my age I really have to focus on what I'm good at and try to improve or at least maintain where I am now. So you just told that you're almost 33. For an endurance uh, athlete that is the peak. Uh, so here your best years should be in, in these couple of months. Yeah. Sometimes they say it's it's wrong side of the 30s, but I still think I have a few more good years in, in me. It all depends about the, the health, the, the opportunities that, that arise or that I can create. I've been in water for 12 years, but for uh, some strange reason. still I enjoy it and I still like this uh, normal lifestyle. So, yeah, I, have <coughs> I see no reason why shouldn't I do one, two, three more years, but uh, that would also be the maximum. I don't see myself riding the bike as a 37, 80, 40 year old uh, old man. I have other, uh, other uh, ideas that, I don't, don't, that I don't include professional cycling. So there's a life after cycling and I'm uh, already working with some things. That's really good to hear. Uh, when and where will you start the scene? <clears throat> you still have to decide. I have my program for a moment, which starts with uh, French, uh, short French uh, stage race, Otvar. But this is only in the beginning. In the end of February, I would, I would like to start earlier. Why not with the stage, which I have never done, or? Uh, to the Provence, which I also have never participated before. So, yeah, earlier I can kick it off better it is, because it's also my last year contract year, so I want to prove my value as, uh, as early and as regularly as possible. Our Olympics is one of the main goals, especially TT. It co comes a uh, Around roughly 10 days after I hopefully have finished uh, do the Tour de France. So, yeah, my season is, let's say, divided into two parts. First part ends with Tour of Romandie, the end of April. So, goal is to do really good results in the, in the spring. Then have a short rest and start preparing for the Tour and uh, Olympics. So. Yeah, all the stage races in the first part are important and then Tour and the Olympics. In the last year, as many new riders uh, from Estonia went to Porto, what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, it's been a small surprise for me to see so many new riders in World Tour. Okay, some of this had more to do with teams just moving up to World Tour, but, but it's a proof that they are doing something right with the youngsters, investing into under 23 and the junior teams is already paying off. And the work, the really good work that the Rene Mandri and Jan Kirsi will have done over the last five, six years, is paying off quite quickly. So I think. Uh, really good project and I hope they can continue working the same way. My head is heavy
let 